<laughs> Let's go. It's your boy Money Mark coming at you guys in another edition of Sneaker Saturdays. I am super happy that you guys are here with us today. And today we got some Back to the Future action going on. We got some shoes that are set to drop next year that I can't wait to get in my hands. I can't wait to talk to you about. We got a shoe dropping at the end of this year as well. So like usual, let's get to it. Let's get to that gangster-ish. Mm. Okay, so first on deck, we're gonna talk about a shoe that is infamous. A sneaker that's infamous, a sneaker series that's been infamous ever since it first came out. We're talking about a Jordan 1. We're talking about the Jordan 1 High OG Rebellionaire. Now, what's so pretty dope about this sneaker is that the Rebellionaire is a part of that band legacy, it's extending that band legacy, if you will. Now, when you look at the band or look at the original story of the original OG Jordan 1, the bread or the band Jordan 1, um, everyone knows the story, essentially the, the original OGs didn't match the NBA color protocol, so therefore it matched the dress policy, essentially. And then there was the legendary fee that Jordan was paying, the $5,000 every time he stepped on the program with those shoes. And since then, we've had a couple releases that have that adorn that band X on the back tab of that sneaker, essentially, letting you know that it's a band sneaker. This is a continuation as we're heading into the 35th anniversary of the um, Jordan 1, um, OG Jordan 1, essentially. So when looking at the Rebellionaire, just jumping right into this thing, first and foremost, this Rebellionaire, it abandons the bread colorway, essentially. It abandons that band colorway, and we get a new colorway. We're getting a gray overlook, overlay, uh, with some black panels. So we get almost like a wolf gray, but it has those band um, accents attached to it as well. It makes it look super dope. So first and foremost, for, let's just jump into the colors. So we see here on the back tab, on the top half and the bottom half, on the top half and the bottom half, we see like a gray, almost a wolf gray on those back tabs as well. We see a, um, a gray bottom sole as well with a white midsole, okay? And then we also do see in the toe box a gray, like that same wolf kind of gray in the midsole as well or in the toe box as well. Now, if you look at the middle panels, the middle panels is all black. Even the uh, panel around the toe box is essentially black as well. Now, you, when you look at it and you, you squint at it, you see that there's some script, there's some hand script that's all over the sneaker. And that is the patent, they can't stop you from wearing them, symbol or hand, um, sentence all over it. Essentially, you really see it on the gray panels on the back tab, on the back tabs, on the top part and the back part, or bottom half of it. You see it really legible. It's in that white script, essentially, that white handwriting. On the black, it just kind of has it, it kind of gives a cool graphic of it in and of itself. It kind of look, almost looks like a design, like a regular, like a graffiti design in and of itself, but it's saying the same exact thing. It's saying they, they can't stop you from wearing them. This really just giving you that band feel essentially, which is I think the why they called it the rebellion there. You know, you're fighting against the power, fighting against the power that tried to stop us from getting dope sneakers essentially, I guess. Well, so looking at this, one of the things of course that stands out is on the back tab, we have that patented X, that red X to let you know that it's a band sneaker. You have of course the script all in the toe box. We have black shoelaces on this sneaker as well. We have um, inside the interior, of the shoe itself, um, the inner, uh, inner part of the shoe itself is all black itself as well. This honestly is just an eye catcher when you just look at it. As soon as you look at that shoe, you see it mm, right there. That's dope, that's dope immediately. This is an OG high, it's not a mid. Honest, I mean, honestly, it wouldn't be a bad sneaker if it was a mid, but it's a high. So you definitely get a super dope sneaker, a super dope silhouette, and definitely, uh, a way to cap off the 35th anniversary of the OG Jordan 1. So now these Jordan High, these Jordan 1 High OG Rebellionaires are set to drop in March 2022. We do not have a release date on those as well, but we do have a price point of $170 essentially. So uh, this is gonna be a sneaker definitely that's going to be 
hot. Uh, it's definitely gonna be highly sought after. So definitely do your due diligence to try to make sure you get these in your hands pronto, pronto. You gotta figure that out now because I definitely think these are gonna be a super hype shoe that you have to get. Okay, so next on deck, we're gonna talk about a sneaker that is super hyped, is hyped on multiple sites, and is super exclusive. I, I've been looking for this sneaker. I've been looking for images of this sneaker everywhere, and I've only been able to capture like a couple of images on it. We don't really see any images of this on feet, anything like that, and I think it just has to do with the Galaxy colorway. Because everything Nike and Galaxy equals grail immediately from what I see. And the sneaker I'm talking about is the Jordan 4 Zen Master. That's right, the Jordan 4 Zen Master. Now, just looking at the shoe, it looks like it's made to be epic. Let me just take a good look at it, right? And like I said before, anything Nike and Galaxy related just always seems to catch the eye immediately. This sneaker right here does not drop the ball at all. Now, looking at this sneaker, first and foremost, as I mentioned, we have this wispy Galaxy colorway that seems to adorn the sneaker itself. It's kind of like a a light purple, a, a, like a, a, a lighter purple going almost into like a grayish galaxy color. And as you see, it is all wispy. Now the reason for the wispiness of it, I guess, or the terminology that's used when the sneaker was described, the wispiness is because this sneaker right here is an ode to one of the most influential men in the life of Michael Jordan, probably besides his father and his family members. The relationship between Michael Jordan and Phil Jackson. This is an ode to Phil Jackson and the Galaxy Wispy colorway is meant to capture the mentality of the Zen master itself at one. That galaxy just floating in the river of stars, so on and so forth. It just looks relaxing when you look at it. And as it transition, if you take a look at the colorway, it transition, even the tabs themselves, transition to this gray at the top and you can kind of see like the galaxy kind of imagery at the top half of it as well now one of the things that stand out about the sneaker as well it has of course it has some gray and gray and black um it has some gray and black and white of course on the on the bottom soles as well as if you as you know the jordan 4 and the jordan 3 they kind of have a similar bottom sole essentially they have a center bottom half so you have that um the um the top well, the the midsole the mid so you got the top of that which is black the midsole essentially is of course white and then the bottom of that seems to kind of transition from black to gray essentially kind of giving it a full look a balanced look essentially obviously what to look at is of course the galaxy print that's all over that and on top of the galaxy print we have the wispy looking stars the little white stars that kind of transition throughout the color of that shoe itself and then we have a clear clear back tap a clear back tap that looks super dope as well it definitely catches the eye one of the dope things about these new jordan fours is that they have the tag on the tongue with that label on the tongue that flight the jordan flight label on the tongue for some reason i like i think it looks super dope i think when you put your uh, when you put your feet in those bad boys it definitely that tongue is definitely going to stick out and everyone knows that you're rocking the jordan 4 for real it's usually the back tab that you first kid put your eye on and it's usually that tongue on there as well so super dope elements for a super dope shoe celebrating a super dope human being that gave us six championships yeah that's right i'm from chicago so i definitely have to definitely have to hype the zen master force because it's definitely going down now this sneaker is set to drop march 19th 2022 it has a price point of 200 it has over 2,000 likes on the kicks on fire app so it's definitely going to be a shoe that is hype you definitely got to get your hands on it um i'll say this anything galaxy is going to sell out immediately because it just is what it is um, I'm not even sure what the prices on on StockX or any of the other apps are, but I'll definitely have it posted somewhere along this video. And you can have take a look at what is already posting that as well. So definitely keep your sights and your eyes ready for that sneaker as well. Okay, so next on deck, we're gonna talk about a shoe that is not Nike. We're gonna talk about a sneaker that is definitely set to boast a super in my opinion i think it's going to be a, a, a dope release i think it's going to be a sneaker that's going to surprise a lot of people we've already kind of seen the sneaker because if you know this individual player he plays with the, he's playing with them now as it is we're talking about the puma mb.01 the puma mb01 which is the signature release of yours truly lamella ball now looking at this sneaker you have this pegasus not this pegasus but like this hermes s feel to it 
Essentially, you have this stitch pattern that you see here. That's the first thing that just grabs my eyes. You see the stitch pattern that kind of follows from the top lace, right, with mid, mid lace, and it transitions all the way to the back of the shoe. It comes around, almost kind of signifying wings. That's the first thing you see. On top of that, you see that there is a modified logo. We have a logo on the outer half of the pink, uh, the outer half of the sneaker over there towards the pinky toe. We have a small modified logo. That I think was one of the biggest things that kind of held back certain brands like Reebok and certain brands like Puma. The Puma brand or the Puma logo is so, is so tailored to the original silhouettes of that shoe that changing that or shifting that has oftentimes been difficult essentially they've done a good job in the rsx the rsx series um definitely especially when you're looking at the bmw series they do a good job of kind of shifting the logo and making it work towards a, uh, a a cool silhouette that still looks dope on the sneaker and this they do a good job on it they modify it they made it smaller you still know it's puma but it has some other dope accents on there so the, the number one accent one of the first accents i at least like to call out is of course that bottom sole now you look you flip that shoe upside down and you look at that bottom sole it's really just a regular red infrared-esque bottom sole the whole shoe is red of course obviously but when you look at that bottom sole you've got that rare on the on the bottom sole of that now me personally for some reason i am a super sucker for gel bottoms with stuff at the bottom of them i i think they all i think that all, just looks dope when you pick up your feet that i think people see that and i think definitely they let you know that there's more than a, a puma going on here there's some other stuff going on here as well another thing to look at you got of course on the back side of there the back tabs you have of course the mellow um the puma symbol and the mellow letting you know this is mellow signature shoe on the tongue itself you have the one of one on the tongue and then we have like a lace lock that kind of looks like a bird it kind of reminds me almost like the uh, of like those firebird symbols essentially on those old classic cars essentially i'll drop a picture on that you can see what i'm talking about but it has that kind of that bird kind of um um lace lock as well giving these shoes just a little bitty accents that are super dope one of the dopest things about this sneaker is that it does give you a lot of real estate yes you do have the big stitch wings but they're the same color I'm interested to see what they'll do with some other colorways. I mean, this is a red, almost infrared-esque sneaker, which obviously became popular when, of course, um, Kanye released uh, the Red Octobers. I, I believe that's when what made red all red sneakers super dope. And this is another dope addition to that all red sneaker collection that I see a lot of other shoe um, providers doing. But looking at this, and taking a deep dive and look at this, one of the cool things about this is that I think there's so much real estate on the sneaker and there's so many little, little subtle elements that can be played with to actually make different colorways. Like I'm very interested to see if they actually make a Charlotte Hornets version of this or if they make any other type of colorways of this as well. They're definitely bound to. We, um, Puma definitely loves to play with their colors and their patterns and palettes. So I definitely think these, we're gonna see some variations of this sneaker as well. Like I said, this is set to shop. This, um, this is set to drop December 2021. We have a price point of 125, and I definitely think this is going to be a sneaker that you're going to be able to get your hands on. I don't think you're going to have to buy too crazy or do anything like that. I think it's definitely going to drop, and you should be able to get your hands on it. But I definitely think it's a sneaker that's definitely going to turn some heads. So go out and cop that thing. Mm. All right, guys. With that, that's it. That's it. That's three shoes. Three shoes. One shoe that's going to drop this year. And then two shoes that are set to drop in March that are gonna that that just look crazy. Two shoes that are set to drop in March. So what do you think? Now just on deck, I mean, I don't know. I, like when I'm trying to figure out which one of these shoes are the best, I'm confused because I see the rebellion there, right? You got the rebellion there. You got that classic Jordan High OG silhouette. And then you have the modified colors, that wolf gray with that black with the script on it that they can't, that, that their rebellious spirit just stapled all over it, that they can't stop you from wearing them, right? And then with that red X at the back, just a seal it to letting you know that this is part of that band series, keeping that band legacy. And then you get that wispy Namaste Zen Master Force. And those Zen Master Force, 
You got that Galaxy colorway going on that thing. And we know Galaxy is a, almost a guaranteed grail. You got the Galaxy. And then of course, you got the little stars on that. You got that clear back tab. Of course, we got that classic, or not the classic, but the new Jordan 4 um, logo on the tongue that looks super dope. The flight underneath that is dope. And then, uh, then you finish it off with the MB01s, the Pumas. Now, first and foremost, I love sneakers that not everybody's gonna have on. That's my thing, you know what I'm saying? I got on a pair of Air Max, Air, um, Air Max Atmos, and those things, I never see anybody have those on, but every time someone sees me with those on, I get a compliment, because you don't really see those sneakers around. So, super dope, and I love super dope, unique sneakers. These MBO ones are not gonna be around. You're not gonna see a lot of people with them around, but if you wear them, I definitely think you're gonna carry some heads, especially when you pick your feet up and you're gonna see that rare at the bottom of that, especially when you see the little itty bitty accents on the shoe itself, especially when you get up on there and you see the stitched embroidery wings on there as well. All red shoes, they go anyways, and they seem to kind of go with any outfit if you know how to style it. So definitely a dope sneaker to cop. If you're gonna ask me my opinion, I would say that get the Rebellion there. Now, now, now listen to me, get the Rebellion Air. The Rebellion Air, if you can get both, you're Gucci. But get the Rebellion Air because that sneaker, a band sneaker and a part of the band series, it's just gonna be super lucrative. It's just gonna be a sneaker that you're gonna be, you're gonna get, if you're in the resale game, you're gonna get a lot for a resale. It's definitely gonna be a sneaker worth copying. The Zen Masters are nothing to sleep on, neither. It's a Galaxy colorway, it's a Jordan 4 Galaxy colorway. I haven't really seen a Galaxy colorway in any of the main staple shoes. Normally I see it in like the foam posits or in some other custom or some other custom guy will do it in maybe like a Katie or something like that. I haven't really seen any Jordans in a, in a Galaxy colorway. So those two are my choices. The MBO ones, I'm gonna probably end up copying because I just think Puma is dope and I like what they're doing. But yeah, guys, that's it. This is Money Mark signing off from Secret Saturdays. Guys, continue to continue to support, support the channel, support the other um, bits of content that we put out. You'd rather be true to the body, rather be the body shots, the little clips, the little nuggets, the updates that we bring, I put out. Rather it be Stories with Chris or rather it be the Logical Crazy Talk podcast. We're actually set for season two coming in December. So I look forward to rejoining you guys and talking about the logical crazy and just doing all that. This is your boy Money Mario signing off for Sneaky Saturdays. Peace y'all. Ever since I was a kid, I fell in love with this shit. I've been grinding for some years just to get in this bitch. Watch out for the industry, deliver them hits. Then be in LA trying to find a girl that drink and hit. Damn. I ain't mean to spill the tea. I took a journey on the toll road. I had to pay the fee. Your mother fed you that poison. Don't feed that shit to me.